Hello, Kobikowski reporting in. I'm back after a short break. Today I'm going to show you a standard quick build, quick review video covering a new Kobe World of Tanks model, the IS-7, Russian Tier 10 heavy tank. I think you know me already. I prefer mass-produced machines that actually participated in real combat. But, I have to admit, this Soviet super heavy tank prototype is very interesting. I like this strong Cold War appearance and a solid brick construction with many exterior details. Ok, first let's take a look at the building process.
the job done. IS-7 Super Heavy Soviet Tank is complete. Now I'm going to quickly address most important things I noticed and what I like and dislike about the model. I will start with a general observation, which is a combination of a good point and a disadvantage in my opinion. After a visual comparison of this brick model by Kobe and a 3D model that is present in World of Tanks game, I have to admit the plastic version is very accurate and most distinctive details and specific shapes of armor plates are properly recreated. However, at the same time, the potential of this big construction is, I think, lost, as we don't have any interior details in the model. Not mentioning the engine block under a service hatch, which is not enough. So generally for me, as an adult and demanding collector and builder, the current level of interior details is not enough. This is like a, you know, like a nicely decorated empty box. You know, we have, we have here a plenty of volume that could be nicely arranged with interesting details to build. On the other hand, the construction is very sturdy. And I can imagine that if we make this, uh, this body uh, lighter to, to put many details inside and I, um, you know, the, um, so that the, the upper part could be removed and, and uh, the, the interior would be visible then, the construction would be very delicate. Okay, but I understand this is a... Uh, Kobe wanted this to be a model that is uh, primarily for younger uh, younger um, kids that will, actu that will actually uh, play with it. So this is a... I, I, I admit this is a very good model for younger, uh, younger audience uh, who will be playing with it. You know, but you know, for, for, from my perspective, as an, as an adult and demanding uh, collector and, and, mm, uh, and builder, uh, you know, the level of detail is not enough. I, I would require, I require more details inside. Okay, now I will click quickly uh, go uh, through, uh, through the construction. You know, the, the front of the vehicle is very strong. We can see those sloped, sloped, sloped armor plates. You know this this little part, little little part here could could go a little bit um, more to to this uh, down. But this is nothing I would worry about. We can see here uh, towing cables that are attached here. Yeah, lamps, um, drivers hatch which is in fact a, a print on printed. Uh, I applied only two stickers on, on the model. These are uh, uh, red stars uh, on both sides of, of the turret. Uh, we, in the set we receive a standard World of Tanks uh, stickers sheet uh, with some um, you know decals typical um, from the game, typical um, uh, Decals from the game that we could apply on, apply on also in, in the game and we can decorate our tank accordingly. Uh, but uh, for me, it, it, it is not very, you know, like very accurate or mm, so very nice. So I, I skipped that. On red stars are enough. Okay, very, uh, very nicely represented here. I love this elongated hemisphere uh, turret. I think that Kobe designers did a great job here. I love these details. These are uh, machine guns that, that are mounted fixed in the, uh, in the hull and uh, in the rear side of, uh, rear side of uh, the turret facing and the, the turret machine guns are facing um, to the back. Oh, we have this little, nice little 
um, Soviet tankman minifigure, and we can notice that uh, this guy uh, has a new type of torso. As you can see, he ha um, we can see some shapes of, of muscles. Very nice. Okay, the back side. And this is the, the service hatch and, and, the, the, uh, and the, the engine block I mentioned. Uh, sadly, these are, this is the only you know, like interior detail detail we can find in the model. I can imagine that we could you know remove the whole upper upper plate, for example, together with, with uh, the turret and, and inside we would see like uh, like, uh, like, a, um, like a big build of, of engine block, uh, like, like 20, 30 elements uh, engine block, some ammo stored. Um, you know some other technical stuff, seats for uh, for driver and, and so and etc. Okay, I think also uh, um, some details are missing on the on the rear side of, of this tank. I think we could we could see a rounded rounded um, you know the, the body rounded body of, of end transmissions that are just near rear uh, driving wheels. Another printed element, which is a, uh, a transportation support for, for the gun, the huge gun. Exhaust ports and many ventilation, many ventilation elements here. As to the turret, as I mentioned, it is fabulous. I think, no, it's uh, it's very, very good. You know, when uh, in here, when it's built from from small from small el construction elements, I think this is the best result we can get. Uh, mm, you know, only we can go better only if if we you know like a like cast mold a huge, huge uh, s you know um, specialized element for this for this turret. Uh, but this is something we don't like, of course. We, we like to build from small elements. And this is uh, exactly the same for, for the gun. You know, I, I love that uh, this gun is built from small elements, but one thing is uh, also, uh, but one thing also needs to be improved, I think, by Kobe, that these uh, small interconnectors, uh, no, this is the second version, because... Uh, Previously, uh, we had a, a interconnector with with even smaller, you know, those um, rods or studs. But I think that that third version should be uh, should be designed and introduced that uh, that has uh, even even longer even longer of those tubes, small tubes or studs, because this gun. Because this gun has a tendency, bad, really bad tendency to, you know, to catch the, uh, like a arch or banana style uh, look, which is not, not very, <laughs> not very nice. Definitely a, a mm, bad thing. But, you know, we can, we can, you know, manipulate it and make it good. But I think that Kobe should... Uh, as soon as possible introduce new type of interconnector with even longer studs or you know tubes so that we could make a, a long guns out of small elements but that will not bend easily okay S standard some standard features like hatches for commander and gunner gunner i think i love this small small uh, rounded uh, stud plate one stud plate with uh, ventilation with a ventilator uh, print on it we can we also have like a service a third service hatch i think which is very useful i think primarily for loading up ammunition and throwing out uh, throwing out shells from 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 the turret 
uh, once again a look um, on the machine guns with uh, with I think um, a magazine cartridge. Um, no, the, uh, I think that those are I think uh, those rounded elements on the outside. These are boxes for uh, empty cartridges, um, and uh, and here we have a bigger bigger uh, boxes for ammunition that that is ready to to be used uh, in in the model uh, in the real life model these these parts were protruding but here this is just a black print on uh, a couple of elements which is very very nicely uh, done so as we can see we have a very good source of um, of parts for our for our own constructions if you if you are also building your own things generally i think this is a very very nice model oh here is another uh, print this is a saw standard saw and again this is a red star sticker i, I applied very nice gun I don't know if it was um, remotely controlled from from uh, the inside of the turret, but I think that it, it also could be operated by a man standing standing here. Okay. Oh, I, one thing I want to mention is that it it is rolling just perfectly with a very nice sound. Nothing is blocking or you know, no problems with, with the trucks. Very nice. So once again, it was very fun to build. Uh, it, it is a very good toy for, for younger uh, audience who will actually play with it. You know, and um, uh, at the end, one more thing, a quick comparison with another new model from Kobe. This is refreshed, in fact, this is a refreshed uh, KV-2, also from World of Tanks game. But this is a like uh, mass-produced uh, machine that actually uh, sees some combat during World War II. Uh, I, I think they, they produced like th over 300 um, copies of, of KV-2, so, you know, I immediately I prefer this one generally if I could pick only one of these two I would definitely go for KV2 which is simply amazing amazing but this is a different story for a different video uh, I already posted a video um, on my Polish channel uh, you, you would probably not understand what I'm talking there but generally I'm very very satisfied uh, but uh, also there is no interior in the model, so this is a clear disadvantage for for uh, for an adult collector and um, uh, builder. Uh, one more thing, I, I think that um, only the only case when when this is a, a preferred model, uh, when someone this is just for someone um, who is like a big fan of uh, IS7 in the game. I don't know, this is his um, favorite machine and he spent um, uh, much time on playing this IS-7 so that he, he, um, uh, he wants to, or she, uh, wants to have uh, the model on uh, her sh his or her shelf or desk. Uh, so th that would be the, the, preferred, the preferred choice then only, I think. I think that KV2 is, in other cases, KV2 is simply better. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, that was a difficult video for me after uh, such a long break. Uh, I would definitely, I will try to, uh, to, um, to publish more on this channel. So please subscribe and follow. You can also check my offer on um, on eBay because I'm also selling the stuff uh, to support my creative uh, work. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon.